and welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Yasuo mid-range. Let's bring this deck back. Yasuo is uh, maybe people's favorite champion in general in the game. This is like the maybe uh, the most popular champion. That's how I wanted to say it in the game. Our deck is playing Yasuo and no other champions. We're playing the same list that we've played a couple of times. Um, well, I guess before we we had three intimidating or three intimidating roars, and we did take one of the take one of those out um, to get an extra Yone in here because Yone is amazing. But yeah, like this, so this is like a you know tier two deck. It's not it's not like one of the best decks, but it's definitely fun to play, and it, it can be super powerful, just like Yasuo can be. Um, every time, whenever Yasuo is in play, every time you stun or recall an enemy uh, unit, then this does two damage to it, so it shocks it. And whenever you've stunned or recalled five things, and, you know, of course, Yasuo doesn't have, that's just in general, Yasuo doesn't have to be in play. But then whenever you play it, then whenever you stun or recall something, then it strikes it, so it does five damage to it. So that means every time, you know, you bounce the opponent's creature, it takes five damage. Um, you know, anytime you stun it whenever it's trying to attack you, attack you and take it out of combat, it takes five damage. It can be pretty crazy. And then, of course, Yone and Mina Swiftfoot are the two big ones. Seven mana, six, six. Whenever you play it, stun two different enemies. And the nine mana, six, five. That whenever you play it, you recall three enemies. Those, those are the two big things to go with our Yasuo. All right, but let's have some fun. Let's play some Yasuo. Here we go. Oh, I guess we got to go play. And here. And what's our board going to be? No, we want Reckoner's Arena. And the snapper. All right, here we go. Yeah, I, I'm cutting back from from three roars to two roars. The roar is, is while it is a great combo with Yasuo, there's a lot of there's just a lot of times when you're playing uh, decks that they aren't really focused on units that it's just a dead card in hand. And with the metagame right now being a whole lot of control decks, there it's just too often times being a dead card in your hand. <laughs> Thanks, Bia. Do y'all think I should shorten the YouTube intro? See, like Draven Ezreal. You know, like this probably don't need the... Well, actually, Intimidating Roar could be good in this matchup. Um... Let's ship these all back? No. Keep these two. I've been thinking about uh, shortening the YouTube intro to just saying, and welcome for some Yasuo mid-range. And, you know, not doing the... Everyone here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube. I originally started that um, intro to kind of basically let people on YouTube know that it wasn't a live recording that they were listening to or like or, or you know like it wasn't a, a specifically for youtube recording that it was like a live production no no do, no donation decks today Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we're going to deny that. They want to kill both of our things and uh, draw a card. We're going to say not. How do they have so many of this card all the time? Ew. I will play my and it gets the, the two Ezreal triggers also. That card's just pretty perfect. Hey, pools. I have the best Keep it as is. There's just the two seconds. Don't let the 
happy tales for you. So I think I want to stun the Draven. I, you know, I could go the House Spider and, and chump block it. You cannot escape. Um, but we're gonna go the Blade Twirler. Give his name plus two. Make that a three three. And I don't want to block with the two, you know, block the two-two with this and let them use one of their one damage things. Because <clears throat> their deck has a lot of one damage things. Don't want them to use any of their one damage things to take out my Blade Twirler. turn for them. If they have Noxion Guillotine, it's even better. Alright, at least no Noxion Guillotine. What's up, fools? It's going good. I think the Reckoners are too valuable to have him play. Then to, to block the House Fighter and let them use a 3 damage spell on him. Block, they have to block with Draven. And I'm going to be playing Blade Twirler, Blade Twirler, Yasuo this turn. Oh, they have Noxion Guillotine. They found it. This hurts. I could play this to give to do six damage to him. You suck. Dang. That was not good. Yasuo is at 4 out of 5, so we just need to stun and recall one more thing for it. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. I guess maybe I shouldn't play it right now as a 4-3. It's easier to kill as a 4-3 than as a 5-4. difficult for them to kill it anyway. Even as a 5-4, I'll just play it.
Looks like Mystic Shot, Blade's Edge. Or Static Shock, Mystic Shot. Like we're dead. Like we're dead. Oh, that's a harvest right there. The guillotine to kill my two Minotaurs. That was when that was the uh <clears throat> that was the really That was like the decider. That was the thing though. The real big deal. Progress day is so good. Alright, we're gonna bounce all these, we'll be able to attack for 12. I wish I would have gotten the the six points in earlier with the might, because we talked about how I could have got six points in previously. It is time. And bouncing all those things with their hand, they Oh yeah, they did they didn't have the room to, to take all of them. That's right, so like two of the two trump lumps just got killed for good. So they didn't have the room for them. Yeah, the music changes depending on what board you use, like what battlefield you use, the, the music changes. So this is the, yeah, this is the Noxus music. Alright, stun their things. Those, so those two don't get to attack me this turn. So yeah, I mean, I guess they never drew Ezreal. At least they haven't drawn Ezreal yet. Um... We're 
gonna take three. And bounce that. Currently have 19 puff caps. Alright, so Intimidating Roar gives me the best chance to... Like, that that sets up a win pretty easily, but if they have Ezreal... The problem is, is that's like... That can be a worst case scenario. If I have Intimidating Roar and then they just drew Ezreal, then they have a chance to play Ezreal. Um, doing this... We still get the six points in, and we have Twin Disciplines for protection. If we need it for something... Or like more trample damage if we need it. And of course I'm doing it on the thing that's not that's not taking damage, so Noxion Guillotine doesn't kill this. But of course they could just do a little bit of damage and then guillotine. Wow, they had five five points of burn and I'm at six. I just drew the one puff cap. They just wanted me to draw a second puff cap. And they didn't they didn't rummage first to see if they would have drawn another burn spell. Might as well rummage first and just see if you draw a burn spell. Because if you draw a burn spell, then they all go upstairs. Wow, I did not think we were winning that game. I really did not. That that swift foot after they like attacked and everything and uh, tapped out th this uh, and you know like they played because they played the uh, the draw three during combat. And they filled their hand, and then we swift foot and bounced the three things, and two of them just got, uh, you know, two of them just got, you know, banished or whatever. Like two of them were just didn't have room because they only had the, you can only have ten cards in the hand. That was pretty cool. Oh, that's true. You can't. Yeah, that's true. You can't just discard one. Yeah, because they didn't want to discard two, because they wanted to use both of those. That's true. You can't just use Rummage as, like, a discard one, and, you know, you don't get to choose that. Uh, Braum Vladimir. Um, I think we don't need the House Spider, and Swift Foot costs too much mana to start with. I'm not sure if Deny is going to do a whole lot either. So we'll have Yasuo and some Reckoners. Reckoner can wreck in this matchup. That's possible, but... We gotta stay alive. Maybe I should have taken the house fighter. You can't you can't put a spell onto the stack like that and then rummage and then take the spells back. You can't do you can't do that. You can only if you put a spell out there, you can only put it back if you haven't done anything else. You can't You can't choose to take the spell back afterwards. I found my family, my bloodkin. Oh, I don't... Oh, I don't know if... I guess I don't know if you could, because it was a bug before. I guess I don't I don't know about that. I'm just saying rules-wise. It shouldn't work like that. I don't know anything about any bugs at all. How can Brom end? Death is like the wind, always by my side. So, do we think they have Take Heart? It's nothing personal. My shield is my sword. Ha! This is fun, yes? Why would the Omen Hawk attack? Is there thinking if I just stun it? Hope you brought friends. You may just not care much about the Omen Hawk. I fight another thing. 
I think it's pretty likely they have a take heart. Life and death on the blade's edge. Hey, Blade. Hey, Dank Bucks. Good evening. You must teach me when you have time. I'll think about it. Oh, yeah, we got Arachnoid's entry. That card's good. No! Wow, what a blowout. Wow, what a blowout. Forgot about Avalanche. I played right into that. Oh, that would have been good. So they have two random Crimson cards in their hand now. They just drew with those. Wow, I forgot about Avalanche. I should not have blocked the Omen Hawk with with my Yasuo. Oh, what a blowout. <sighs> well, this is going to be tough. I don't think it makes much attack much sense for us to attack right now, but I want to get the two reckoners in play, start stunning two things. So it looks like we'll be stunning Braum and the curator next round. Um, if they if they tap out, I may you'll live, probably. Just another winter. Oh, that thing's a nine eight now. There we go. That's a good card. That bounces Scar Mother. That's good. I want to lifesteal barrier this. Still have three mana for twin disciplines. All right, that's we can do it. This will of Ionia was a really good draw. Would have had to like you know do this block on the Scar Mother. Besides this. I don't think there's anything to counter Will of Ionia in their regions in Noxus Freljord, mm -hmm. so I think we're good. As far as I know, we're good. Come on, go back up to 12. One opponent. Let me go to 12. Let me go to 12. And also let me draw a Yasuo. Put 
because I threw away my other Yasuo. Oh no. Flee now or burn. I can see them casting Avalanche here. Kill Reckoner, okay. But I didn't want to play Sentry or anything. I wanted to make sure to keep this available. Oh man, Swiftfoot would be cool to, to play, but don't let the fluffy tails fool you. We don't really want to, you know, we don't really want the fluffy tails to fool our opponent. You're late. Mm-hmm. Only I can quell the wind. All right, let's quell the wind. Yone, you're the only one that can do it. Good job. Pumping up Blade Twirler. We got, they have no blockers. We have all these attackers. All right, and we're 2-0. Minotaur Reckoner took over that game. So at the very beginning of the game, the Minotaur Reckoner could wreck. But we needed to stay alive and get to it. And we did. And that, that Will of Ionia draw was incredible. So, um, I guess, so I didn't stream yesterday, you know, because I, I wasn't feeling so good yesterday. And so then I didn't get to talk to y'all about the new weekly chess. Did y'all get more extra capsules and, and, you know, what'd you get in the capsules and all that kind of stuff? Um, I got, I got two capsules this time. Jinx Draven. And I ended up getting, like, a second champion wild card. Jinx Draven. New hand. But how'd it go for, for everybody else? How did uh how'd the new you know weekly reward system go for y'all and and even those y'all watch on YouTube, let me know in the comments also. Let me know if if you got you know how like how many capsules you got and if you got anything cool in them and all that kind of stuff this would be a great matchup to draw yasuo so we'd have the yasuo roar combo one um drawing house spiders pretty good too though Dia, you got five extra capsules and no extra champions or upgraded capsules. That's a bummer. But still, you got, I mean, five capsules. You probably got just a ton of cards, though, right, for your collection and a ton of shards. Yeah. I get so much stuff. Even if it wasn't specifically. Um, if it wasn't specifically champions, get just a ton of shards. How am I doing this? I think we can get a free point of damage in by attacking. I don't think they're blocking. Come here, darling. Never mind, they're blocking. Nope. Let's get yep. A look at you. <laughs> hmm. I did not want them to block. Oh, it's looking like that was greedy by me. All right, so if I will of Iodia, the Boom Kuruki, that's actually kind of good for Boom Kuruki. I didn't really want them to block. 
but yeah, that's what that's what I was figuring. I figured they they had a removal spell, um, which is why I didn't also want to use Will of Iona, except I figured they made the block thinking that they were safe. Normally I would just be playing the Minotaur Reckoner, but we kind of drew, drew a Yasuo, and we kind of, and we have this Will of Ionia for the Jinx, which is really nice too. Yeah, we should probably just play the Minotaur Reckoner. Which, if that's the case, should I just do a pre-combat? Okay, I guess that's the reason not to do a pre-combat. Get some free blocks. <laughs> it's it's hard to make Yasuo work, but this this deck that we're playing here, I've I've had success with it. Alright, well. It's like playing Minotaur Reckoner not helping out too much. Everyone We'd much rather about had Will of Ionia bounce this thing and just going straight to attacks. All sorts of stuff. But instead. Need that might. I don't really see how I'm can win this. Oh, that last turn was was really bad for me. Yeah, we we don't need Darius. D Darius doesn't really help Yasuo in the deck already. Like we want to play all the other top end stuff. We want to play Reckoners. Yone, Swiftfoot. We don't need to play more expensive creatures. We don't need Darius. It's just more of this, you know, it's just more expensive stuff. All they're going to do is just use Spinning Axe, discard this thing, get their, um, get their Death Rocket, still be able to play Death Rocket and Jinx again. Oh. Oh, I thought they were doing that. Okay, they're just doing that. Like buildings or people. You should try blinking sometime. They'll never see it coming. Behind you. Wanna see these moves up close? <clears throat> it at least forces them to use the spinning axe to um, level up Jinx and not just like play another threat. Time for the money makers. See, I'm winning this though. Oh, yeah, maybe I should have bounced Draven. Draven, give him that extra spinning axe.
I don't think there's anything, any lines. Like, my line didn't work, of course, but I don't think there's any lines that did work. Once they had that... Once the, the turn that I played Minotaur Reckoner happened, uh, once they had that turn, and them playing the the caustic thing that'll let them just be able to chump, you know, like, make it so I couldn't attack and everything. Once that turn happened, the game was over. Callista Thresh. This could be good against Thresh. Do you like Minotaur Reckoner a lot? We're gonna be behind. So we'll see how aggressive their deck is. It could be very aggressive. It could be very uh, value or oriented. We'll see. Be too too far behind now. We actually have our, our good curve, two drop, three drop, and so on, so we're good. <laughs> we, we shall not rest until all <laughs> yeah, I like I like wearing uh, dress shirts. G Storm, I'm comfortable in them. So I play Shadow Assassin, we take five. Taking five is okay. Want to give me another shot at drawing a Yasuo this next turn? Never mind, we take eight. Yeah, it used to be a Thai Command. That was on the, the old bot, though. Haven't remade a new Thai Command. I could attack in, but they're absolutely going to block with the 4-4, and then I twin disciplines to make mine a 4-3 and kill their 4-4. That's something I can do, but that's something that's just something that's good for them, because that gets Callista one more uh, level towards ranking up, or leveling up. Before the screams. That's intense. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. All right, this will work well-ish. Ish. This course is about to level up, and I don't like it. I don't like this leveled up Callista. Where'd my Yasuo go? done a good job of drawing Yasuo in these games. Nope, not a good job of drawing Yasuo at all.
it's on. Unfortunately, we can't take, we can't kill the Callista anymore because now it, you know it's tied to this 4-4. Like the 4-4 takes damage for, for it, which is pretty awesome. Like that matchup, I I should have mulliganed more. I need Yasuo and Intimidating Roar. Like that's that's a Yasuo Intimidating Roar matchup for sure. With all those cards that we saw, if, if I get paired against that again, I'm gonna mulligan a lot more aggressively for those two cards. Yeah, I'm playing five games with each deck. So it's our last one here. So we're gonna try to go try to pick up a win and go three and two. Uh, they got a pretty aggressive deck, Demacia Noxus with Draven. It's got to be an aggressive deck. So we don't need nine drops to start with. And let's put away the six drop then, too. And I'll keep the three drop. Looks like we have. Yay, Yasuo. Right, this would be a good good matchup to draw house spider <laughs> or a nine drop there's two nine drops in the deck we had them both in our opener so i mulliganed them both Drawing, drawing one again immediately. All right, here we go. Always by my side. It's not that there's only con control decks are very good, yes, but it's not that there are only control decks. Um, I mean, what did we play one one control deck so far out of these five? One blade, one purpose. We played... No, no, maybe two. We played two control decks. But yeah, there, there are a lot of control. The sun's out, the crowd's ready. Let's wreck it! Eight mana. Oh, House Spider's good. No, I don't get to play House Spider. Okay, so we're going to have... We're gonna stun this to do two damage to that. Do I take seven and go down to six? They're not P and Z, so they, they don't have like the, the all the P and Z burn spells. Alright, so now down to five.
Intimidating Roar is my only out. Well, it started off so good. Started off so good. Winning our first two. There's no reason not to attack with the Yasuo. I should have attacked. It's a long path to get you. But had intimidating roar is another as another out with them playing that, but. Alright, so we get to just we can stun two things and do two damage to each thing that we stun. So we stun that, stun that. Told you. Would you listen? I guess I have a shot still. I guess I'm, I'm not. I'm not dead right now. On board, we're, we're down to you know we're at three right now. But three's not dead. I really should have attacked with Yasuo the previous turn. They could be at 12, which could have made a big difference. Good draw. That was a really good draw. Humility and power. Down to one. I am giving it plus three, plus zero to make sure that thing dies so you know it doesn't survive damage, so we lose. I know I could have. I know I, I could have used might and then also used. I could have used might and then also, you know, I could have used both of my things and saved the Yasuo. But basically, I didn't want to. I I didn't want to like I wanted to keep deny up just in case they had something that dealt one damage to me. I wanted to have deny available. Just in case. So I'm thinking that the might's going to be killing them the next turn anyway. I wanted to have that available. See, that's 7 mana, 13. I could play the Reckoner first. So 
might win. Yay! Wow, that was that was definitely a game I didn't think we were winning. Right, these Will of Ionias that we have drawn have been really clutch. We keep on drawing some real clutch Will of Ionias. Yeah. Will of Ionia saved the day again. Can only play three of those, though. Um, against those hyper aggro decks, intimidating like that, those are the great matchup for intimidating roar. There's just there is a lot of control in the format, and intimidating roar is not that good against control, and that's why I only have the two in here. The might actually was good for us, you know, like we we stole a couple of games with the help of might. Uh, we really did. So I like having this one might in there. Also, that yeah, like that card was actually really good for us too. So there we go, another positive record with Yasuo. Fun deck to play, you know. Just understand it's not it's not like a you know a tier one deck. It's it's like a tier two deck. Um, hey Alex, but uh, but it is it is pretty good, and you know it's you get some wins with it. And it's pretty fun to play. It's fun to play Yasuo. All right, so there we go. And all of all of you watching on YouTube, hope you enjoyed the video. And if so, don't forget to hit that like button and uh, feel free to leave a comment. Um, you know, let me know what you think of the new cards that are being uh, revealed for the next set and uh, this deck. Um, you know, anything like that, let me know in the comments. All right, but thank you so much for watching some Yasuo Midrange, and I'll see you for the next video.